female empowerment means women having the agency, um, so the power of choice to make the decisions that allow them to accelerate their lives forward. It also means the world coming together to give women opportunities that allow them to be independent and strong, and also allow women to have opportunities to unleash the seeds of greatness within them. Because women are so amazing and there's so much greatness within them, but sometimes they're not given the opportunities to do that. So female empowerment and women's empowerment means that women are given the chance to let their light shine. A successful woman is a woman who knows who she is, so she believes positive things about herself, she knows her truth, she also knows what her strengths are, she knows what she's good at, she knows what she naturally excels at, and she knows what she loves, she knows what is her passion, she knows what makes her alive. So those three things, knowing who you are, knowing what you're good at, and knowing what you love combined together and doing those things is what I think makes a successful woman because you are your most confident self when you do what you love and you also know what you're good at and you know who you are. So throughout my journey, I've been greatly inspired by women like my mom um, and Oprah Winfrey in particular because my mom, because she's an entrepreneur, she started her own business, she built her own empire from scratch and stuff like that really, really inspires me. I love women who take action on their life um, and I love women who know who they are, like I said, know what they're good at and they just do it. And so I'm really inspired, I'm a doer and I'm really inspired by other women who know their gifts, know their talents and just go out into the world and kick some ass. I think the biggest challenge facing young women um, for the next generation is that the need to understand how important personal growth is. I think older generations have understood that, like you have the Yanlas, you have the Oprahs, there's so many people in that personal growth space um, in the older generations, but when you come into my generations and the generations younger than me, um, a lot of the time the priorities are really wrong. So they look to more superficial things than rather than looking deep within them to discover who they are, what their gifts are, what their talents are. So I think for women to carry on being strong and being inspired for the younger generations to be everything they're destined to be there needs to be a shift in their mindset they need to wake up to realize their own worth their own strength and their own purpose um, and that they need to realize that your mindset is the most powerful asset you have and so they need to feed their minds not just focus on entertainment and superficial things and looking good but actually having a strong mindset that can take take you to where you want to be and to achieve your dreams because sometimes you have a big umbrella people say i want to change the world how are you going to do it i don't know is what they say so i think it's the challenge will be articulating that and actually taking action to turn your dreams into a reality and not being afraid of what people will say or what people will think I would tell a younger version of myself to relax and not let my insecurities get in the way of unleashing my purpose and being everything I was destined to be. When I was younger, I dealt a lot with negative self-talk. I was often my own biggest hater rather than my own cheerleader. So to my younger self, I would say, you are enough everything you need to win in life is already within you. So rather than focusing on what you're lacking, focus on what you already have and use it to your greatest strength and capabilities. 